I think this is the most boring part of the entire curriculum. Maybe it's just me. All right, acid reactions. You've got to do acid with metal oxides, hydroxides, hydrogen carbonates, carbonates, and reactive metals. It's part of another assessment statement, but I'm going to do it here. All right. So first off, simple recap. Acids produce H plus when they dissolve in water. Yep. There's the H is coming off there. How are we going to measure about with that? Well, maybe we could choose methanoic acid because which is the hydrogen that comes off? You just have to memorize it. It's that one next to the CO2. So that gives the methanoate iron and what a so kids think I say it and hydronium iron. Okay, bases produce OH minus when dissolved in water. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Well, what about these bases here? There's no O, there's, how's that gonna work? Ah. So sometimes you have to think a little bit extra, put the water in, and then you'll get the OH minus, and you'll get the uh, ammonium ion. What about this horrible one here, methylamine? You'd have to know the name of that, but you do have to know this little trick. So methylamine, there's a two there, and there's a CH3 there. So I'm just gonna take one off of here and put a CH3 there. There we go, methylamine. Just treat it like ammonia. Alrighty, like I said, this is one of the harder things to grasp. I've done it many ways. This way works the best. If you don't like it, go to one of the other channels. Oh, it's rather aggressive, Thornley. All right, uh, so acid plus metal oxide. I'm just gonna randomly pick an acid from the top there. Let's say uh, nitric acid and a metal oxide let's say uh, lithium oxide. So a salt, there's no definition on the internet or the IB that has any coherence. So it's just a product of an acid, I suppose, reaction. Uh, this is my little tricky way of doing it. Uh, take the hydrogen from the acid and take the metal and swap them around and then try to fix it up into something decent. So that's gonna give me Li2NO plus HO. Now, here's the problem, is that neither of those things exist, so you kind of got to fix it up. Well, this HO, you just got to kind of realize that that's trying to be water. I mean, you could learn that it's water, but I don't even do that. I just try and think, what is nature trying to provide us with? And Li2NO, that can't be right. Lithium's group one, plus one, nitrate's minus one, so it actually has to be LiNO3. Nice. Are we finished? No, because you've got to balance it. I'm going to have to have two of those and two of those to make it work, aren't I? Acid plus a hydroxide. Let's try sulfuric acid. And for the hydroxide, let's choose, I don't know, let's say aluminium hydroxide. So once again, try to swap the... Uh, Hydrogen in the acid with the metal. See what happens. So I'm going to get H2OH3 plus ALSO4. Oh, bad luck. Neither of those things exist. This is trying to be water, but it isn't water. No, it's trying to be water. So I'm just going to put water for that. And aluminium sulfate, or aluminium's 3 plus sulfate is two minus. So to make that work, I'm gonna put a two there and a three there. Am I done? No, you've got to balance it now. So two aluminiums there, three there. Isn't it a six there? Okay, next one. Acid plus hydrogen carbonate. Well, let's try to mix it up a bit. If I put a phosphoric acid in there, And I'm going to use ammonium hydrogen carbonate. Ammonium hydrogen carbonate. So a little bit of a improvement of our skill set here. I'm going to move the hydrogen, swap that with the metal. But there is no metal. Well, hold on. So that's behaving like the metal, isn't it? The metals were the positive part of these uh, of these molecules. So I'm just going to swap them round. I'm going to have a H3. HCO3, oh, what a monstrosity, plus NH4, P2, 
PO4. Neither of those things exist, so I have to fix it up. Well, it turns out that this is trying to be water and carbon dioxide. If you put carbonic acid, the IB say you're wrong. It's water plus carbon dioxide. And this is ammonium phosphate. Well, no, it isn't. Ammonium's plus, phosphate's three minus. So I'm going to need to have three of those. Am I done? No, I'm not. I've got to balance it. I think I've got a three there, and a three there, and a three there. All right. Next one, acid plus a carbonate. Let's choose uh, ethanoic acid, CH3CO2H, and a carbonate. So let's choose uh, aluminium carbonate. Let's make this as nasty as possible. All right, so swap it around. I'm going to swap the H here, the aluminium there. So that's going to give me HCO3 three times. Oh, an Al2CH3CO2. So neither of those exist, water and carbon dioxide. And this is aluminium ethanoate. Oof. So the aluminium ions three plus. And the ethanoate iron, well, it's lost a proton, so that's minus three of those to every one of those. Let's balance it. And finally, acid plus a reactive metal. So for the acid, let's do, maybe they'll give you a weird one. This isn't one you need to memorize siliconic acid and reactive metal uh, or cesium isn't that sixty dollars a gram i saw that on the internet so i'm going to swap that with that and that's going to give me h4 plus c s s i o4 neither of those exist hopefully you can see that this is trying to be hydrogen cesium is a group one metal and silicate, you don't know the oxidation state by heart like you're supposed to memorize it, but you can work it out. It's four minus is the total oxidation state of that, total charge, I mean. So that's going to give me a four here. So you just got to practice these. These are pretty nasty. To identify the parent acid and base for different salts. So that list is pretty straightforward. Some are unambiguous. If it's ammonium chloride, then you have to have had uh, ammonia and hydrochloric acid. That's the only way you're going to make ammonium chloride. This other one here, well, that SO4 is sulfate, so that's going to be sulfuric acid. What is this monster here? Well, we've seen that before. Isn't that methylamine? If you're not sure, you can look it up in the book. It's in there in the data booklet. Yeah. Ambiguous lithium bromide. Oh, there's, there's five ways to make that. So let's grind through it. It's going to be hydrobromic acid for sure. What do you mean by a reactive metal, Thornley? Well, they've never really asked you to explain it, but there's hydrogen here. Anything above that is considered a reactive metal. It's not quite true, but it's true for you. So uh, lithium, calcium, aluminium, those should react with acids. Anything below it is an unreactive metal. Well, there's silver, there's some jewellery there and uh, copper, yeah, it doesn't really react with a, just a single acid. So why is that? Well, the reactive metals uh, hate electrons. So these ones up here, they hate electrons a lot. So lithium's trying to get shoot off an electron, aluminium's trying to shoot off three electrons. 
And so where do those electrons go? Well, it turns out that those electrons go to the H plus in the acid, and then they make a hydrogen. So by shoving the electrons onto the H pluses, you get hydrogen gas formed. In more IB language, the, the top of the list, well, they hate electrons, that's my language. That means they undergo oxidation. Oil rig oxidation is loss of electrons. If they hate electrons, they're throwing them off. That means they're good reducing agents, though. Reducing agent is itself oxidized. And so when the metal loses electrons, it goes to the H plus from the acid and makes hydrogen. We just did that. Oh, my scooter's charged. Possible IV acid. Oof. So that's that list again. They've taken off a couple, they've added a couple, but you have to learn those and the name of the salt. Alrighty, I did that in, that was like the 10th take of 10. And I'm still not completely happy with it, but that's my shot.